Hello, my name is Anya, and today we will be using the Conditional Builder in Flutterflow to make certain aspects of a user's profile hidden if they are not verified. The sample profile template page from Flutterflow, and I just made the display name and the email dynamic. All of this is static, but it's okay for now. Here I have the user schema. And the only thing that's different is I added this is verified, which is a Boolean, a yes or a no field. I'm currently logged in as Tim Williams, and Tim Williams is not verified. And this is what we see in the tester. Over here, we have my stats, but I want to make it so that if the user is not verified, they cannot see these stats. They're kind of blurred, and it says something like get verified to see these stats. So let's make that happen. All of these stats are in this wrap column. And if we go over here, we can see it right here. I'm just gonna collapse this down. So it's really nice and easy to see. I'm going to right click on this and click wrap widget. And I'm gonna wrap it in this conditional builder. Now let's look at this. It has an if condition. And if this condition is true, then it shows our wrap. Otherwise it has an else condition. We also have this plus sign here so we can add in more conditions. And this is like a more advanced version of conditional visibility. So let's set this up. Our if condition is going to be if the authenticated user, which is the current user, is verified, then we want to show these stats. Otherwise, maybe we'll just leave it empty for now. Let's see how this looks. Just as a reminder, Tim, which is who I'm currently logged in as, is not verified. So we should essentially just see a blank space after the my stats text. And that's exactly what we see. So this is working how we want. But this gives Tim no indication as to why he doesn't have any of his stats visible. So let's fix that. Under my if statement, I have this wrap, and I actually want to right click on this and click copy. Then on my else, which is currently not set up, I want to paste this again. So I'm going to click on my conditional builder and then click on this empty. It's just an else statement, so we don't need a condition. This is what's going to show if the this condition over here isn't true. So if the user isn't verified, I'm going to click on this little else slot and just do a command V. So I'm pasting in that wrap column. And I'm just going to collapse it. What I want to show you right now is this little sign. Essentially, we can have one or the other show. And that's how we control what we see in the UI builder. So back to this wrap, I want to wrap this widget in a blur. So it's kind of giving the aesthetic like it's there, but you can't see it unless you're verified. But we can still read it quite clearly. So I'm actually going to make it sigma x will be 5. So that's how much x blur there is. And sigma y will be 5. If these are equal, then it's like this even blur. Otherwise, you get this streaky thing in one direction going on. I'm liking this blur a lot better, but I still want to be able to have some text that is telling Tim that he needs to get verified. So I'm going to wrap this blur widget in a stack. This will let me stack two things on top of each other. So I'm going to have the blur widget, but I'm also gonna have this container. I'm gonna take this container and just drag it to approximately cover the space. But right now we can't see what's behind it. So over here in fill color, I'm gonna click clear color. That's making it entirely clear. So it's almost like the container isn't there. But the advantage of having this is I can then put a text inside it and align that text in the middle. So now we have the text in the middle of this. I'm going to make it this headline large say get verified to view. I 
and that looks great. It's a little big. I'm not focusing too much on style right now. But we can see the overall idea of it. I'm going to go back here and reload. Tim is currently not verified, so we should see the blurry area and then the get verified to view text on top of that. And this is looking really nice. One additional thing would be to add a button or something where that when I click that, it starts the verification process. But that's not going to be covered in this video. One thing I want to show you, I'm currently in my data manager and I'm going to manually change Tim to be verified. Now we can see what it looks like when Tim actually is verified and check that the condition is working both ways. So now that Tim is verified, we shouldn't see the blurriness. We should just see the stats. And that's exactly what's happening. So I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.